Hello again, this is Nick from Community Builder and this is the second tutorial in the CB Package Builder series. In the first tutorial, uh, I just went through how we're using uh, Package Builder on Joomlapolis to actually allow you to download things and products. Um, today, I'll be installing Package Builder on my tutorial site and we'll just do a quick configuration and upload a single PDF file um, and show you how we can set that up. So the first thing I need to do basically is install the CB Package Builder uh, component that I actually downloaded from Joomlapolis. So I do the upload package, choose file, and go to my downloads area. Actually, it's, this is the file I downloaded. It's a preset, so it has PS underscore package builder. 5.1 is uh, the version I'm downloading. Now I can just install this uh, since it's a preset. I can just install this using the Joomla installer. I don't have to go through the plugin manager of Community Builder. So I just choose that. So you see I'm using the Joomla installer and I upload and install. And you'll see <coughs> that the package builder is actually uh, taking over at this point and it's displaying a message, a successful message. And it's basically showing it actually installed a number of files for us. The first one is a Joomla plugin. It's called CB Package Builder Bot. The second one is a Joomla module. The third one actually is a CB plugin. That's why it's plug underscore. This is the actual Package Builder plugin. And the fourth one is also a CB plugin, and it's basically an integration plugin so for Package Builder to integrate with CB subs because you can actually configure Package Builder to require a CB sub subscription for a user to be able to access and download a specific download package. And we'll show that in one of our tutorials. But for the moment, I just went through, I installed this. So if you go back to the system, you should see another main menu here, Packager. That automatically appears. If you don't see this, then you should actually go to your uh, extensions modules and actually find your uh, in the administrator modules. You have to find the CB admin drop down menu here and make sure that in the menus tab here, you will actually you actually have plugin menus set to show. Okay. That's if you don't see Packager here. We have Packager, so everything is okay. Um, you can go to Community Builder, actually, uh, Plugin Management, and you can just filter here. Filter Package, I guess, should be good enough. And you see we have CB Subs Package Builder, which is not published, and CB Package Builder, which I've actually published here. And underneath, you'll see three um, buttons here that you can access. Uh, you can also just directly access these buttons from here. You see packages button, presets button, history button. And you have the configuration. Let's just go through the configuration quickly. So this is the normal configuration for a plugin. If you go to the parameters, this is the section we want to look at. First, the general tab basically allows us to change templates and classes. We'll just leave this the way it is. The admin menu is enabled, which means the packager will show up here. We'll leave this as it is. Now, packages here, just leave the popular as it is. Basically, it'll show the last 100 as popular. And it's actually the number of hits needed for something to qualify for a popular tag. You can just check the... Uh, the tooltips for what this means. New, the actual the number of days that 
um, basically qualify something to be new. And here, I mean, initially when you install, you'll see all three enabled. And what I've done here for the demo purposes, if I dis I've disabled the all button and I've disabled the CMS button because I'm just going to be uploading a tutorial file, for example, and it it's not CMS related in terms of, uh, it's not, doesn't need any Joomla to be installed. It's just a PDF file. So I'm just keeping these two off for the moment. I'll keep the search enabled, there's no issue here. Now, if you can go through the others and just look at what this means, presets, and actually go through the tooltips. And we'll show presets in a, in a later uh, demo, but for now, you can just go through and look at everything. Uh, and don't worry about if you don't understand things, we'll just leave everything default. The only thing you have to do is go to the last the download section and you have to actually select a repository area so all your files will be uh, this is the root folder of the files okay everything else keep the same so what i've actually done here is i actually created a package so we can go and look at all the packages just by clicking in the packager packages menu here and i just created one package called tutorial number one and let me just go and show you what that looks like Okay, so I'm actually I'm I have to select uh, CMS compatibility. So I've selected that this tutorial, this file is actually Joomla 3.0 compatible. Doesn't really matter, but since I've turned off um, in the configuration area, I turned off the CMS uh, parameter. If you remember that, so the title I have the title tutorial number one. A little description. I can actually have a URL here that actually links to a, a Joomla article or a website article uh, that gives more information about this package. Uh, now, the download area, I actually type in the name of the package here and I've actually uploaded the package. I could have just click choose file and upload the package or I can actually go physically go and find the path see I the path remember I put images files and I actually placed the tutorial dash zero one PDF file in this folder and once I do that basically it's picking it up here the path it's picking up that I, I did find something that matches the name that uh, was placed here and Here's the full path, and this is the file. Okay, so I've done all that, everything else. Oh, one thing I have done is in the type area, if you notice, there's a number of packages. There's a package, library, package is basically a Joomla package file, a Joomla library, a Joomla component, a Joomla plugin, a Joomla module, a Joomla, a Joomla, a Joomla, a Joomla template. We have CB plugin. Could be a query. We'll go through this in one of uh, the follow-up tutorials. Could be a script involved, override. I'm just picking a custom type. And once you pick a custom type, you'll see there's a custom type uh, field that pops up. And I just put in tutorial. Subtype I'm leaving empty. Okay, so I save that. And what I what I've done then, I, mean, I go to my menus and I have actually created a menu here in my main menu. Let me just show you what this was. So I scroll to the end, there's a downloads menu. <coughs> and I've actually selected here a plugin type. Then I select CB package builder from the drop down that appears. And the action is packages. Basically, I want to show all the packages in this menu. Everything else is as it is. So I've saved that. Now, if I go to my front page, I see um, my menu has a downloads menu here, which I click on. And I see that there's one package here, download button, and automatically the 
description is displayed here. If uh, I'd actually had a URL in the uh, package uh, description, I would get a learn more button here. Uh, we'll do that in a follow-up tutorial. But what's happened here is automatically package builder tells me the size of the download, the date it was released on. It basically parsed the file to see what date uh, it had and the number of hits, how many times I downloaded. So I can just click download and I'm actually downloaded the tutorial 01 PDF. Okay. I think this is enough for this quick tutorial just to see how you can quickly install and configure and just uh, have one single file for the moment in our downloads area. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for follow-up videos. Bye-bye.